So I'm here with Casey from Small Act. For people who don't know, Small Act, the way that I describe Small Act is that it's a way for nonprofits to connect the dots between their database, their community, and the network. One thing that really strikes me with the National Wildlife Federation, like the more that I get to, the more that I talk to Danielle, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. sure you know Danielle, um, yeah. <clears throat> the more I realize that um, they are successful because they actually share the same exact mission of their supporters. And I was having a conversation with Danielle, mm -hmm. this was like a month ago, yeah. and we were talking about all this stuff, and, and I said, well, you know, you know, how do you get people to donate and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She said, we just want people to get outside. That's, yep. that's what they want. They actually just want people to experience wildlife directly because mm -hmm. when they experience it directly, then they're more invested in protecting it for the future. That's their overarching intent. And I feel like because of that attitude that they have, it probably makes it really easy for them to reach out and connect with their supporters as if they're standing yeah. right next to them. Really the, the challenge, but the opportunity, like you said, NWF is doing a great job at that is making it relevant to that person's life because in, in what's great and, and I've, I've seen this so many times where if they're emotionally sort of connected to it then that sort of hook is is set in right that's mm -hmm. part of who they are about loving outdoors of course they want to support it. it's not someone calling them every year mm -hmm. you know with a sort of good campaign it's about their love of nature and there's another really interesting one too about you know that experience side whether it's directly going outdoors or through a video of this person or this sort of project or whatever it is progressing um, a friend he got this um, friend of his to donate to support a child to go through high school and college mm. right and it was just, it was this sort of participatory thing and it was about obviously education she was like all right I'll do it but by the end she was like his mom Hmm. Right, like she was wow. so charged up that she then sponsored ten kids and then twenty kids, and like because then she felt it. She wow. felt that it wasn't just about giving to less fortunate. That's not a good way to think about it. It's giving, it's being relevant and and really making a change in people's hmm. lives that they can feel. So yeah, that that whole connection thing is great. So you know, socially, you know, bringing their experience historically into that Facebook engagement, into that Twitter, um, sort of you know, connect or whatever it is they're going to sort of do. And I think those are really important points. I think what you guys are helping organizations do is to identify these specific relevant interests. And some of them, I imagine, might be, you could call them like lateral interests. For example, the National Wildlife Federation, they have a huge group of people that support them that love digital photography. Right? That is a lateral interest. It's not actually directly related to the cause at all. But then maybe they can have discussions about digital photography to some degree to engage even more of those people's lives. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's exactly right. So learning about them, so I think that's the biggest thing, at least for us, right? I think there's like, um, you know, your expertise about helping them be their very best socially and doing that. Um, where we're trying to help is to just get to know people better um, and so kind of that can help all the other areas and, and your point is really good because that would be a fantastic sort of whether it's you know Pinterest or Instagram group to go after right um, and just say here can you post your favorite picture that you have taken outdoors you know it's like here here's my life here's my emotions here's the story about where that picture came from but, you, but you're giving them the insight though Right? It's one thing to understand what to do with insight once you have it, but you, you have to have the insight first. You know? So you're actually giving people, in a sense, like huge ears. They have huge ears and they can really listen and they have that sensitivity to their community 